Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about skill capped, and I'm going to be trying to help you decide if it is worth your time and money to invest in this service. Um, just so you know, I am having allergies, so I, saw, I apologize if my voice is a little bit graveling. Uh, but in order to help you guys decide about skill capped, I'm going to break it down in a number of ways. We're going to start by talking about the general positives and general negatives, kind of an overview of the positives and negatives that apply to the service as a whole. And then we're going to break down each one of the features that they offer and talk about them in more detail. After that, I'm going to ask you some questions that you can apply to your situation and your life that should make it more clear to you whether this is worth your investment. And then I'm going to close by talking about my personal experience with SkillCapped. One thing to keep in mind throughout this video is that my perspective on this is coming from a new player to WoW and an absolute noob when it comes to Arena. I just started playing Arenas for the very first time in Dragonflight Season 3. Um, I'm also asking for help from my friend to provide another perspective. He plays Restoration Druid and he's, play he's a returning player to Dragonflight Season 3, but he's played a lot of PvE in the past. But this is his first time trying PvP. One more thing to keep in mind would be that I'm using the Dragonflight version of Skill Capped. Um, looking at the Wrath of the Lich King or Classic, if we're up to Kata now, I guess. So, but looking at that version of uh, Skill Capped, it looks virtually the same. So I'd imagine pretty much everything I'm saying about the Skill, the uh, Dragonflight version, could be applied to the classic version for PvP as well. Alright, so let's kind of get into it. The general overview, so general upsides that are always going to apply to Skill Capped. Skill Capped is convenient and it is reliable. You don't have to dig for the information. The information is presented to you on a silver platter. You just go to their website, find whatever you need. You also don't need to doubt the information they give you because these guys really know their stuff. Downsides. Obviously the cost is a pretty dang big downside. Um, it's going to cost you $18.99 a month if you pay for a monthly subscription. Uh, you can get a big discount if you pay for the year up front. If you do that then it comes out to $6.99 per year. This is also going to be a focused time investment. Uh, to get the most bang for your buck you really need to treat this like studying kind of sit down and really think about the videos and inf digest the information as you watch it. Um, so to kind of give you a little bit more specifics about each of the features, when it comes to the class guides, um, the class guides are going to be the most value for new and returning players, as well as any player who is trying to learn a new specialization or a new class. Um, another thing that you can use the class guides for is if you're really struggling against one specific spec, this is an easy way to, to learn how to beat those specs. Although Skill Cap does offer some other courses that might be more efficient in this manner, this is kind of a deep dive into the class, so it would be a good option. Um, the biggest advantage to their class guides kind of like I mentioned earlier, is you know you can trust what they're saying. This is kind of one of the problems that you're going to come across if you watch YouTube guides. YouTube guides for class guides are going to be a really big grab bag, right? You don't know what you're going to get. If you're blessed to have a Bahira or um, a Sidu guide, you know, some of these top ranked players making guides, then that's great, but not everyone is so lucky to find a guide from a master of the game. And sometimes you just have to take what you can get on YouTube. And I know that some of you have probably found some suboptimal guides for PvP classes out there. I know I have. Um, so this takes that kind of nervousness away. I would be willing to say like there are definitely better guides on YouTube for some classes. But with skill capped, you're getting trustable quality knowledge, and you're not getting 
the bat. It might be not, it might not be the best guide in the world, but it is going to be a serviceable guide, and it's going to teach you, teach you the fundamentals of that class, allow you to, to push a little bit if you're new. Um, another thing that I was I wanted to talk about Beeson, my restoration druid friend's thoughts on glass guides. He he felt like he was playing PvP correctly. Like I said, he's done a lot of PvE before. So what he said is he was playing PvP and felt like he was doing everything right. But then when he watched the class guides, it kind of opened his eyes to some of the things he could be doing better in PvP that aren't really applicable to PvE. So this is something that would be really good to consider if you're in the same boat as him. That's where he found the value of the class guides. Uh, the other courses, so there are a lot of courses included with skill cap outside of just the class guides. I was surprised at how much information was packed into these other courses. Again, new and returning players are going to find high value here. Honestly, just about anyone below 2,000 rating is probably going to find value here. Now, as your rating gets higher, you're going to have to pick and choose some of these courses. Um, not all of them are going to be as helpful to you. But for me, I expected to learn a lot from like the class guides. But really, these other courses are what truly enabled me to push. They do a good job of teaching you kind of the fundamentals of the game, teaching you positioning, teaching you CC trains, helping you familiarize yourself with other classes. Um, there's a lot of really good information here that you should not overlook if you get the subscription. Uh, Beeson wanted to say that the courses about positioning and setting up the UI for PvP were some of his favorites in this category. And I can attest to the fact that watching those videos on positioning, in particular how to position on certain maps, have been very beneficial to, to helping us push a little farther than we would have been able to. So the next feature I want to talk about is going to be the Master Arena videos. Uh, the Master Arena videos, you have a very high ranking player giving analysis on a pre-recorded game. Now these games may be from other uh, skill cap subscribers, or it could even be like an analysis of the Master's own gameplay in which they're breaking down things they could have done better or why they did what they did. Uh, as for who's going to benefit from this feature, these are going to these videos are going to benefit players who have an understanding of the game already and know how to play their classes. Uh, this is kind of the next step after watching lots of guides and watching a lot of the other classes. You can kind of come here to see how it works out in real time. Um, sometimes now, one thing I, that's also great about these guides is. It really shows how deep this game is. You think you're doing everything right? Come watch these and you'll be like, wow, I'm, I'm not good at all. There's a billion things I'm doing wrong. Um, and sometimes I would even learn insanely valuable information from like a single sentence. Then I have to like pause the video and look up what they're talking about because it's that valuable to me. Um, you can also try to find specific comps being played. So if you and your mates are playing um, you know, maybe Mistweaver, Warrior, Monk. Oh, wait, wait. Pause. Brett Paladin, Mistweaver, Warrior. That's what I was trying to say. Anyway, if you, you and your mates are playing a consistent comp, then you can try to find that comp being played. Um, you can also try to find matchups you're struggling against. So if you're struggling against Demon Hunters and you don't know how to beat them, you can go find a bunch of matches where your class is playing against Demon Hunters. My complaint would be that I wish there were more of these. And maybe it's a newer feature. I'm not really sure how long this feature has been around. But I wish there were more of these so that you could see more matchups. Um, that's just one complaint. The other thing to keep in mind with these is while I had a great experience, the it's really going to depend on who your master is. Because... That master, just because you're a master of a game, doesn't mean you you can teach that game. You have to be a good teacher as well. So that's one thing to consider with these master arena videos. Uh, Beeson's thoughts on the master arena videos. He said that 
one thing that's really great with these is it's, it's not always going to go according to plan, right? You learn these cookie cutter rotations, but just seeing what happens when, you know, crap hits the fan. How do you adapt to the game in this dynamic state? Um, and like he, he also wanted to emphasize that it's eye-opening as far as how many things you can improve on. It's always eye-opening how many things that even the best players in the world do incorrect throughout a given game. So there's always something you can improve on. Um, the last feature I'm going to talk about here is the Discord. Um, so as skill capped members, you get access to a number of things. Uh, we're going to talk about the macro requests, Ask a Pro, and the VOD reviews. Uh, the macro request and Ask a Pro are pretty self explanatory. If you need a certain macro created and you don't know how to write it yourself or you can't get it working, you can ask for help and they'll help you write a macro. Ask a Pro, you can ask a question that will be answered by a top tier player of that spec. I use the Ask a Pro feature to ask about some specific talents and what comps it should be using them against. And I got a very detail oriented answer from Joe Fernandez, who is considered one of the best warriors in the world. And that knowledge gave me a ton of confidence going forward. I'm, I feel like I'm making much better decisions on what talents I should be running in what games. And I just have the confidence that I'm making the right choice on my talents, which gives you a lot of comfort in that game. Um, my advice, so the next thing, like I said, is the VOD reviews. Um, if you end up getting the service, my advice for the VOD reviews is just submit a VOD. I kept holding out because I was trying to find like the perfect VOD that really like matched what me and my teammates are struggling against or something like that, but submit one. Um, I ended up going and submitting a VOD, honestly kind of to get this video in because this is an important feature to cover, right? And so I submitted a VOD where I had top damage in solo shuffle, but I only went one and five. And I got some incredible feedback. Um, after watching that VOD, I played two sh solo shuffles in a row, and I went five and one in both of them. And then with Beeson, that night we were able to push to 1800 with relative ease. Um, that night we played 16 matches on our push and we won 12 of them. So that's a 75% win rate and that is not consistent with the win rate we had been at before the VOD review. So as for who's going to get value from these, <laughs> I mean pretty much everyone. Who's not going to get value from having a master in the game give their VOD review? Uh, what Beeson wanted to add, and I couldn't say it better myself, he said, the class courses and other guides are worth your first month's sub, but the Master Arena videos and the Discord features are, way, are what make continuing your sub worth it. It's me from the future now. Um, I've been editing this video for way too long. It's taken way too long for me to put this out for some reason. I just haven't had the time to edit it. Um, also, please be nice. I've been watching the gameplay back and it's pretty embarrassing. So I understand that. Sorry about the gameplay, honestly. Anyway, the point is, um, they have Skillcapped has added a whole UI since I started making this video. Um, I just started using this last night, so I don't really want to give you my opinion on it. Um, but honestly, it seems super nice. I really like it so far. Um, and I really wish something like this existed when I first started. If you want to know more about the UI that they've added, feel free to make a comment and recommend. I, I can make another video about it once I've used it for a little longer. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that right now because it's another very nice feature, especially for like new players or players coming from PvE, or if you're just somebody who has struggled to get your UI correct and your add-ons and all that. Um, I think their weak aura package is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to say about that. So now we've covered all the main features of a skill cap subscription. If you're still scratching your head trying to figure out if it's worth it for you or not, 
I'm going to ask some questions to you now. What I would suggest is kind of keeping track on your fingers, whether it's a vote, each question is a vote for getting a subscription or not getting a subscription. Um, so I'm going to ask the question and kind of try to keep track of how many match up on your personal scale. Um, so are you driven and genuinely want to improve or is WoW more about having fun and you don't care as much about your personal skill level? Are you interested in playing arenas or RBGs? Do you have a PvP mentor or friend that you think will be able to provide feedback and help you improve? Are you a new or returning player, or have you been playing for a while? What do you have more of? Do you have more money, or do you have more free time? Are you self-reflective and coachable? Are you willing to spend intentional time learning to improve? All right, so hopefully that helped you a little bit more. As for my personal experience with Skill Capped, it's been overwhelmingly worth it so far. Um, I have decided I'm going to go from the monthly subscription. I just started by paying for one month to see how it went. I will be going to the year subscription. I would like to do a follow-up in a year to see you know, kind of how that service holds its value. But as for me, entering the game was just overwhelmingly hard. And genuinely, I don't know if I could have learned this game without skill capped. Um, I, like I said, my friends, while they've played WoW, we were all new to arenas. And it's just a whole different ball game out there. So without skill capped, I know I wouldn't have met my goals this season. This season was my first season playing. I played about half the season. And I was able to reach 1,800 on my Warrior in duos with Bisa. Uh, so obviously we were playing a very good comp with Restoration Druid and Warrior. But I didn't have to get carried. Um, and I was able to eat, hit 1,800. And that was my big goal for the season. Um, I also was able to hit 1,600 on my Hunter. Again, duo queuing with Bisa. I will admit, on the 1,600 with, with my Hunter, I was playing with an 1,800 restoration druid so he he definitely helped me get the 1600 um I, I was playing with a much better player for that spec than myself so i i don't know if it was a carry but it definitely he was definitely better than my than myself um but yeah 1800 on the warrior we hit it together um and i think we both kind of agree it wouldn't have happened without the skill cap subscription biggest advice if you decide to get the skill cap subscription if you feel like you hit your wall submit your vod it's so eye-opening and so helpful i mean that part alone is worth the subscription to me and that's why i'm continuing my service for the rest of the year is just for that one feature alone. all right guys if you made it this far in the video please please give me a like and a subscribe description or leave me a comment in the bottom i will read all of them even if i don't reply um, i hope this helped you make up your mind and i hope you guys have a great day and show somebody some love today i'll see you